Welcome to Fair Men's Basketball and Nothing But Net. I'm your host, Taylor Chitwood. Alongside me, Coach Tyler Sanborn. Coach, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you having me. Uh, Coach, uh, fun one last night. Uh, it seems like it just happened a few minutes ago uh, with the win over the Crosstown Rivals, the Averett Cougars, coming in uh, with the last second shot there by Marcus Huff. I know we talked a little bit on the broadcast last night, uh, the interview. Uh, Coach, how'd you draw that one up there at the end? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we just wanted to put the, the, the ball in, in one of our best playmaker's hands and, and give him an opportunity going downhill to try to get to the basket, and he made a big-time play for us. So that was big. I was happy for him. Uh, some numbers uh, for the fans out there. Started out, uh, we're 1-5 right now, 0-1 in the ODAC, averaging just a, a shade under 60 points per game, uh, shooting <clears throat> about 40% from the field, uh, about 30% uh, from the three-point line, and shooting – just a hair under 60% from the free throw line. Coach, is that something that we want better of, more of? You know, what sitting down with the team, with the young team, uh, where, strug where scoring has been coming at a struggle this year, you know, what, what, what are we looking at doing? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been difficult. Uh, we've been playing some really good basketball teams. Uh, we just came off a really tough stretch uh, playing some really, really good teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, we have some young guys. We're they're trying to find their rhythm, trying to find their niche as far as, you know, how they fit into what we do. Our older guys, they really haven't, um, they haven't hit their stride yet. Uh, we, last year, we shot the ball really, really well. We broke the school record in three-pointers made, and we shot like a really good percentage from three, I think 38%. So we knew we were going to have to do a lot of that this year to be successful, and we, we just haven't done that yet. I think part of that is, is on us, um, um, but a lot of it is the teams that we're playing. Uh, some really good basketball teams, I, I think that that uh, obviously has had an effect on, on our, our outcomes. In that game last night, you did see Marcus Huff catch a little fire, hit at one point, I think he had 11 straight points for us there with uh, three straight threes and, and then a bucket in the next position, uh, next possession, excuse me. How is, you know, I'm sure that was a big game for him last night, especially hitting the last shot, the game winning shot. And what does that mean for his leadership on the team with the young guys buying in? Yeah, I mean, Marcus is a, he's a very, very talented scorer. Um, our biggest thing with him is trying to get him to buy in all other mm -hmm. aspects of what we do, especially defensively. Um, the, the guy can really put the ball in the basket. Um, so him running our offense correctly, uh, executing what we do, doing the details, um, staying within that and being a successful scorer, I think that obviously shows the young guys you know, what, can, what can be achieved if you do the right things. Um, that was awesome for him to have that success, and, and we needed that. We needed that. Another key in that game was Nick Helton. Kind of struggled offensively in the first half and, and starting out there in the second half as well, but came up with that big shot there right before the Huff shot uh, to put us in that situation. Um, you have two really young guards with the Chase Woodard and Stephen Gilbert. Um, you know, what, what's that like, Ben? It's the minutes are just about split. Um, you know, one's off, one's in. Of course, how's that been for you? Yeah, it's been um, it's been interesting. You know, those guys are learning. Um, when you have young freshman guards and they handle the ball a lot, and they're gonna make mistakes. And uh, you know, our guys just need to battle through that and uh, learn how to deal with adversity a little bit better. Especially those guys, they take it really, really hard. And I coach them hard. I do. Mm -hmm. I really do. Um, you know, obviously, I preach uh, ball security. Um, when you have, we, I think we had 19 turnovers yesterday. And it's hard to win basketball games when you do that, and, 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 and we're averaging a lot. Um, but for the first time, both guys had positive assist to turnover ratios, and uh, I'm really proud of them. Man, they're starting to figure it out a little bit. They're like, like you said, they're young. Um, you know, Chase is only a sophomore. Steven, you know, has played five college basketball mm -hmm. games, so uh, they got a lot of room to, to grow, and uh, you know, they're, they're eager to do that. Uh, I'm really happy with their work ethic and them, them being coachable and. Uh, you know, really willing to learn. Especially with Gilbert there last night, you, I saw him up in the booth grow just in that <laughs> game. From the beginning of that game to the end of that game, he's, you know, he's making huge amount of strides, and that's can only be good news for us moving forward. Yeah, he's, uh, he, he's an unbelievable person. Um, I really, really enjoy being around him. He works extremely hard. Um, I think he struggled with uh, a little bit of confidence. Um, obviously, being a freshman, being mm -hmm. young, we've struggled. We played some really good veteran guards in the first in, shoot in the Division One games. Mm -hmm. I mean, and like he wasn't really sh shaking, but uh, he's just I think over time, you know, not seeing the success that he probably had in high school, um, he's, he's his confidence dropped. But it was good to see him back out there playing 
the guy can really defend on the ball as well. I mean, that dude, he, he, he's, he's a tough guy. And he was looking for a shot a little bit more, too. And the other games, I, I haven't seen a lot of that shot. He, you know, like you said, he's kind of shy to put it up. A lot of times he was open. It might not have went, went through the net, but it was up, and it was a good shot at that opportunity. Yeah, and, 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 and we give him that. We give everyone that freedom on mm -hmm. our team. We don't, you know, I don't really, I coach shot selection. Obviously, you know, we, we talk about what's a good shot and what's a great shot for us. Um, and, and I give them freedom to kind of figure that out. And uh, I think once we start doing that and once we start executing the details of what we do, the offense will be there. Um, obviously, scoring under 60 points a game is not ideal. Shooting 38% from the field, 30% um, from three, mm -hmm. uh, which I think went up a little bit last night. I think we shot 38% from three last night. So those are our normal numbers. And we're going to have those nights. Um, and we're going we're gonna to be able to score in the 60s and 70s and hopefully a little bit higher. But uh, the biggest thing for us, I think, is just really locking in defensively and uh, guarding in the half court. Both big man uh, as well uh, played well last night, especially Barnhart on the defensive side and player on the offensive side. It seems like Barnhart strength is definitely defensive and player strength is definitely on the offensive side of the ball. Coach, again, how is it like, you know, distinguishing between those two guys? Yeah, um, obviously both freshmen, so they got a long ways to go. Um, I think I've thrown them in the fire. Mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 we didn't have any depth in the, or, or size last year, so bringing those guys in. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit more size, mm -hmm. and we missed out on a couple guys, but those guys have really risen to the occasion and played hard. They're, 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 they're tough kids. Um, you know, Trey, like you said, he really buys into the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, he's done some good things. That he made five threes at Coastal Carolina, so he's capable. He's capable. And in, in high school, he was really he was a, he played basically point guard. So I mean, he's a six six point guard, and now he's <laughs> a center. So I've uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some more size. He can play a little bit more his position next year. But he's uh, that both of those guys are they're really bought in. I've really enjoyed being around them. I think they'll make our, our team our program better. Another key, uh, it's good to see Carrington Young back in health. We lost him last year to the injury. Uh, he seemed to pick up where he left off with the energy. Uh, not the biggest down there, but he, he battles hard. He's an energy guy. Uh, you have Watkins that came in and played huge on the defensive side of the ball last night. Uh, that's another freshman that um, is continuing to progress. Nick Helton, the sophomore returner, started a lot last year. Uh, is one of those stretch three guys, can, can defend well, uh, can handle the ball if he has to, can shoot it from behind the arc. Mm -hmm. um, Rashad Reed, um, he's coming along as well. He's kind of struggled with the shot as well. How, you know, how's the morale of the team? Well, obviously, man, like when you – we were 0-7 before last night if you count the Division One game. So, you know, when you, when you work as hard as we have, which we have worked really hard and, uh, and our guys have really bought into – the process, and uh, we talk about loving the process. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting for them to experience the success. And uh, you know, once you get that, uh, I think that becomes contagious. And uh, you know, we have a long ways to go. Like, like as you mentioned a lot, we, you know, we, we have a bunch of youth. So, um, getting them to understand what it takes to be successful at this level, um, and, and, and the details that you have to go by. Um, is the hard part and you know I'm not going to waver in that and what I believe in and, and, and what um, I want our program to be about um, but those guys has got to you know the learning curve mm -hmm. is, is, is there so we got we to speed those guys up a little bit but we'll be fine um, we played some really tough teams so we're, we're battle tested um, I'm excited to see you know kind of how we progress along this year. I keep going back to the game last night but I, I, another thing that I was really impressed with is we never panicked uh, you know we got down really quickly uh, there. Averett went on a 7-0 and run really quick to kind of open things up, and we spent the whole first half battling back, uh, got it back, had a lead there in the last, um, right before the last three minutes of the half, uh, kind of struggled there in the last three minutes, and then in the opening three minutes struggled again at the second half. But again, no panic. We knew what we had to do. We defended well. We scored when we had to score, and it came out in our favor in the end. Yeah, and, and that's one thing that we talk about a lot is uh, our mantra is next play, and uh, that can be positive or negative. Um, you know, obviously we don't want to celebrate, um, and we don't want to frustrate. We talk about that a lot. We'll do that in the locker room. Um, you know, our guys, we, we, we struggle with that, and we've struggled with that, especially when, when you're losing, and uh, that's part of it. And uh, you know, I, I really, at yesterday, like we normally do like our keys, defensive keys, offensive keys, and I thought our, our key was next play. And, uh, you know, not just battling adversity, being positive, being a great teammate, um, starring in your role, which we talk about a lot as well. Um, and I thought our whole team did that um, from 
you know, 1 to 16. So I was really excited about that and obviously for them to experience success and, and have that and hopefully we'll be able to gain some momentum. Well, Coach, I think that'll do it uh, for our first episode here of Fair Men's Basketball, Nothing But Net. Uh, we hope that you tune in next week. December 3rd will be our next show. I'm your host, Taylor Chitwood, alongside me, Coach Tyler Sanborn. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Taylor.